What's up everybody, back again with another video. I wasn't sure what to do today. I kind of wanted to get a video out, but I really wasn't sure um, what to cover. Just because I'm just now getting back into the grind. Um, I figured I'll make a video showcasing some of the nebulas that I did unlock last night with my boy. We played for about four hours, and we were just knocking out some nebula challenges. Um, so I'll show you guys them, and then, um, yeah, we'll just kind of figure out what to do for the rest of the video. Um, because I'm only now just getting back into the grind now, but... Um, but yeah, so last night we did get the KSV Nebula, as you can see here. We got the Tantu Nebula. We got the um, Sog Nebula as well. We got the Craig Cease uh, Nebula done. And I believe that is it. So that now makes 10 Nebulas out of uh, the 33 that I need for the 100% camo completion on Zombies. Um, we're now 30... What? 36? five now 35 guns uh because we have the two dlcs but um other than that nothing much has changed i've fixed some of my loadouts like the um the m4 loadouts fixed now um and some of the other loadouts that were a little weird i fixed some of them up um so things are looking good now for the most part i'm also halfway done prestige nine so i should hopefully be around ready to prestige sometime tonight if not ready to prestige tonight i'll be prestiging tomorrow um because I'm probably going to do a shit ton of, of matches today with uh, Devil's Feet activated. Because I will just do the Warzone trick. Because uh, that's what they're telling people to do. So, they're telling us to do it. So, I might as well take advantage of it. Um, as for everything else, um, the Dark Matter Grime is at the corner of my mind. But I haven't really been focusing on it since I got back from Remembrance Day and all that. Um... I just, I'm finding it hard to play multiplayer at the moment. I, I don't know how everyone else is with this game. I, I'm finding it hard to play multiplayer, especially solo. Um, and because of how my schedule is now shifted to now I'm playing all day, uploading videos, streaming all day, not up, and I'm not up all night. Um, the guys that I normally would run with, that I was running with for a large part of this game's life cycle uh, in the preseason, um, I'm not playing with those guys right now because of the time of how our, our, just our schedules work. Um, so playing solo right now has been rough, um, and I'm finding it harder, harder and harder every day to play this game solo on multiplayer, um, and so that's really killing my mental for the grind for Dark Matter, because a lot of the grind for Dark Matter is headshots, um, which means I just have to purposely go negative every match until I get good lobbies that I can actually get headshots in, and it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating, and it is, it is killing my self-esteem, that is for sure, um, but I'm trying to push through it. I'm trying to get better and, and not let it get to me. Because at the end of the day, it's just Dark Matter. Um, I've gotten Dark Matter several times in Black Ops 3. Got Dark Matter in BO4. So and this isn't a new thing. All right? it's like, this is the like fourth time now we've had Dark Matter. Technically, the third time it's been named Dark Matter. But this is the fourth time we've had it. Because DM Ultra did uh, was technically a version of Dark Matter. Um, it was uh, The DM Ultra just stood for Dark Matter Ultra. That's literally what it stood for. Um, so, DM Ultra was basically just, I think what was that was like a like a white um, white holographic type of, of dark matter. But anyway, um, I've been trying to you know power through it, but it is it is rough out here, man. It is it is certainly rough. Um, it would not it does not help the fact that my SPMM is so high. If if my SPMM wasn't high and the hit detection wasn't so bad. Um, everything else I don't feel like would be such a big deal. Like, the maps are shit, sure, and the spawns are terrible, um, for high streaks. But for camos, the spawns actually aren't terrible, especially on the smaller maps on Hardcore, once you get the hang of them. Um, they're not terrible for camos. The problem is hit detection's so bad, and the SMM's so bad that, um, like, there's just no way around it. I've tried playing with crossplay turned off for a while. That seemed to help a little bit. I was able to get the Diamond Assault Rifles the other week, last week. As we can see here from, if we go to the, um, I don't have any ARs on, so let me put a regular AR on. I'll put the battle on to show you guys. Um, but, yeah, we have diamond ARs on all of the, um, ARs at current the moment. So we have seven diamonds so far done. Um, and that's been the biggest problem for me right now is, like, the camo challenges from, like, from, so these two camo challenges right here, super easy for most guns. Gold, super easy for most guns. Diamond is super easy for most guns. Spine is going to be a little annoying, but in hardcore, it's not terrible. Dark Matter, it's pretty easy. It's just three Bloodthirsties, so that's not bad with every gun. That's super easy. You can get that done, a couple of these done in a match. But for me, 
the biggest problem is the headshots. The the hundred headshots. That that is really what's hurting my um abilities to continue grinding. Uh, and a lot of people say that like, oh, it shouldn't be this bad. Um, it's not that bad, bro. It's a skill issue. Uh, it's not a skill issue um, because I've done headshot challenges in the past. Um, I did World War II. I think World War II we needed, I think it was 200 headshots per gun or something. Um, we've done, uh, I've done other Call of Duties that have had headshots as well. Um, Modern Warfare 2, for example, had you need 25 headshots of every single gun in the game. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, a lot of the challenges were headshots, or some of the challenges were headshots. So I've done headshots in the past. The, the difference is now is uh, this game's hit detection is awful. And what I mean by that is um, most of the times I'm going for the headshots, what I'm experiencing a very severe problem of the guns not, like, the, the headshots aren't counting with those guns. So, for example, um, I played a match with the Craig C the other night. Um, I think it was last night I hopped on before I started playing Zombies, and I played a match with the Craig C, um, and I got, like, 12 headshots that game, and only about six of them actually counted to the gun. So now I only have about 10 so far for the Craig C. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I, I see the, the bullets hitting the head. I see my reticle hitting the head. I see the death effect from the headshot, but it's just not giving me the headshot. Um, and it's super frustrating when you're trying to go for headshots, and you just, it just feels like the game is constantly fighting with you on whether or not you're going to get the headshots. And I don't know. It's just it's just a rough thing, man. It, it's it, it's definitely hurting my self-esteem. Um, but I'm going to power through it, man. That, that's the whole point of... You know, what I said the other day in, in the podcast episode is you got to be willing to power through it. You got to be willing to to not give up. Um, and I'm not going to give up, but uh, I don't think I'm getting as dark matter as fast as I had hoped. Um, just because I just, I, unless I can find a team that I can run with that is actually a vibe and we're not, and we're able to actually start working as a team. Because I feel like if this game, if you had a squad of like five or four or five, and you could really just dominate on hardcore or something and control the maps on face off, um, the headshots would be far, far quicker. And honestly, once the headshots are done, I need about, I'm at like 20, I don't, I think I'm at like, 700 or so out of the what now 30,000 I think you need for dark matter because well you need 2900 but I need about 3000 if I want to get all the guns done which is all the uh the bullet guns um because I'm going to skip the um I'm skipping the two launchers and the two DLCs so I basically have to add an additional 200 headshots on my already um existent headshots so and actually I think it'd be more of like closer to like 3300 headshots now 3300 headshots give or take um and say, and those, those are the hardest thing. That is the, probably the hardest part of the grind that no one's talking about. Everyone just kind of, kind of pushes off headshots like, oh, it's not this big deal. And it's like, yeah, headshots aren't a big deal when you're trash at the game. That, that's the honest truth. When you're trash at the game, um, yeah, headshots are easy, especially if you're playing hardcore. If you're bad at the game, you have a bad, your, your overall COD account is terrible, in which majority of people that have Dark Matter right now are awful at the game. They have awful KD ratios. They have awful uh, average win losses. They have awful um, average kills per game, etc. SPMM, whatever. Uh, so, you know the, the 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 amount of XP they're earning per match. So their SPMMs are a lot lower. Their EOMMs are a lot lower. And so they're being put into easy lobbies on hardcore. Or what's happening a lot of times too is I saw that there's a lot of kids on hardcore that are getting headshots and they're shooting legs. Like I've literally seen guys shoot at the bottom of a character and it's giving them the headshot anyway. And I, I, I can't help feel um, like this EOMM is being just is so manipulative right now that it's insane. And I think that's a big reason why. Um, I think it's also a big reason why there's not a lot of mass prestiges right now. Um, I'm the highest prestige and I was a little bit behind everybody else in terms of leveling. Um, because I didn't, uh, I was focused on the storyline for the first day of launch. So I, w I had a full 24 hours of behind, and I've managed to catch up and, you know, now gain, um, several prestiges over pretty much every one of every single one of my lobbies so far. Uh, and I think that's a big reason why, is a lot of people just don't play this game enough because of the way the game is run. And I'm glad that I'm seeing a lot more people speaking out about this. Um, and normally... I wouldn't want to talk about this too much because I, I feel like I've already done a rant video on this. But this time around, I wanted to come from a, a point of compassion for others instead of um, just, you know, complaining about it. Uh, because I feel like this is something that, as a community, we need to band together against, not fight over. Like, uh, this this idea that this is a not a, not a real thing, this SBMM and EOM is not a real thing, is dumb. Um, we have the patents. They have said themselves that SBMM is in the game. So we know these things exist. Um, we just 
are are figuring out how bad it is. Um, Activision, of course, is trying to play it off as it's not this severe, but I'm sorry, it, it, is, it is, and it's getting worse every year since 2019, it's getting worse, um, and it just sucks, man, it sucks because this game is actually a good game at the core, the movement's good, the, the guns are cool, the camels are cool, um, the zombies is amazing, and I just feel like the multiplayer experience, um, again, feels like Cold War, and that's the problem. People hype up Cold War like it was some amazing game, um, but it wasn't. It was awful, and there's a reason why um, Cold War, in my opinion, is one of the most overlooked CODs in the recent years. Is because it's such a fucking disaster of a multiplayer experience. And this is this is classic for Treyarch in the recent years, um, in my opinion. Treyarch has really just let the ball drop in terms of multiplayer. They've knocked it out of the park the last couple of years of zombies with like Black Ops 3 zombies, Black Ops 4 zombies, Cold War zombies, and now Black Ops 6 zombies. They just they've knocked it out the park there. But I feel like their multiplayer really experience has really um, fell off since BO3, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 1. Um, Infinity Wars had some rough years in the past as well with Modern for 2019 as well as Modern for 3. Um, Sledgehammer had a rough year with Vanguard. But overall, I think Sledgehammer really came came through uh, in the last couple of years. Same with Infinity War. Modern for 2 was an amazing game uh, in, from 2022. So I don't know. I think, I think we're in a weird era where some years are just such good amazing games and i can't get enough of them and other years are either complete misses or i just barely want to play them and that's kind of what i'm feeling with bo6 it's not that i don't want to play the game i just because it's actually the opposite i want to play the game i just can't like it's just it's it's getting to the point where even in streams um i'm getting people that are curious is why the lobbies are so weird and my friends are playing with me and they're asking why my lobbies are so much different than everyone else's and i just can't help but feel like i'm being targeted by activision um because of my anti spmm and anti eom um you know agenda that i have against it right my my um i guess agenda is not a really good word um my belief i guess my harsh belief um and I know I'm not the only one out there. I know some of you guys are dealing with the same thing. And, I, and all I can say to you guys is hold on. You know, just hang tight. Things will get better, I promise. Um, because, you know, they can't continue this and get away with it. Eventually, something will snap. And they will have to acknowledge and fix the mistakes they have caused. But I don't know when that will be. Um... So if you guys are looking for someone to grind headshots with, if you're in the same boat and you're willing to do some hardcore for headshots, let me know down below. I'm always down to add people and run with them. Um, it's going to be rough, so I hope you don't care about your KD if you decide to do that because uh, your boy is 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 trying everything. I, I've, I haven't done reverse boosting at all in my life prior to this game, and I've been trying to reverse boost. And it did work a little bit in the beginning um, of the Dark Matter grind, but... It is not working no more, sadly. Um, so if anyone out there is um, wanting to experiment with uh, reverse boosting as a team or wants to just play the game normally but want to grind, I'm always down for it at this current moment because I'm out of ideas. I'm out of options when in terms of a BO6 multiplayer. But... I don't know. I'm focusing a lot on my time right now on Nebula, getting Nebulas done. So at least if I want to, if I'm going to struggle in multiplayer, imagine we'll look at Nebula because Nebula is such a cool camo. Because um, I, I want to get Dark Matter done as quickly as possible because we do have more weapons coming in the mid-season update for Black Ops 6, and we have event weapons coming here with Black Ops 6's new event. We got the new special weapon and the new melee weapon, which is the drill and that um, weird SMG thing that's coming as a as a special. And then we have the other Warzone camo that's out right now that I have even not even started grinding yet, which is the, uh, the uh, what is this called? The Abyss camo, which is a sick camo, by the way. Very sick. It looks better in-game than I thought it was going to look from the images and the videos we got before. Um, honestly, all these camos for Warzone don't look actually that bad. Callus is pretty dope. Uh, it's kind of plain. Uh, the King's Ransom camo actually looks amazing. I... I cannot believe how good this camo looks in the images and the previews we got. It looked really trash, um, but it looks really, really good. Uh, Gold Tiger's all right. I still think um, the uh, Mystic Gold and regular Gold are better in terms of what they look like. But, um, but yeah, I mean, nothing's going to look better than Modern for 2 Gold um, we got in 2022. That Gold was amazing, but it is what it is. 
But that being said, man, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure what to upload today. I, I just didn't have anything planned for today. Um, I'm still working on some other things uh, and trying to work on the grind and all that. So didn't have much planned, but I wanted to get something out for you guys. Um, let me know your feelings, thoughts, and opinions down below about Scooby Smash making and EMM and hit detection on Black Ops 6. Uh, if you're if you're not having a fun time grinding Dark Matter, um, I would love to hear you guys vent down below because... I sure as hell vented the other day to some friends, and it felt a lot. It felt a lot better afterwards. So, um, if you guys need a vent about the dark matter grind, let it down below. I would love to hear it. Um, you will not be judged here. Anyone that judges anyone here um, will be um, removed from the comments section. So, you don't be ashamed to voice your opinion on the dark matter grind, even if it's a very ugly opinion. Um, I would still love to hear it because honestly, I'm kind of in the same boat at the current moment. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just, it is rough, man. I just wish skill based matchmaking didn't exist. I wish EOMM didn't exist. I wish that Call of Duty would just have good hit detection like it used to. Um, I don't know how we went so long with good hit detection. Now we have such bad hit detection. I just don't know what went wrong, but yeah. Wish me luck on my grind. I will be live later today. I'm waiting for my one of the guys I'm grinding with to get off school. So it's still in the morning for me. So I'm probably going to do some other stuff uh, before then. Maybe play a little bit of zombies, but I don't know. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.